Welcome back to Kimchi Red Nets. Quick intro because we're in Seoul. Seen Seoul? Anyway, we are at Mockley making class, and I'm getting this real quick before the class starts. We're in here, and let's go there. Welcome to the voiceover. We were at a Mockley class that was provided by the Seoul Company. They give Mockley making classes both online and in person. Now, forewarning, we're not going to give away all their secrets. We want you to take the class if you're interested, but we are going to go over some of the highlights and what you need to know if you want to try and make Mockley at home. This class was for Banana Mockley and it was given at a lab slash classroom that they have in Seoul. What is Mockley? Mockley is a commonly found Korean rice wine made of three main ingredients rice, water, and nuruk. These three ingredients are the base of makgeolli. Everything else is just flavoring. One of the first steps in preparing makgeolli is steaming the rice to an al dente state. As these guys run classes for this, they have like an industrial size steamer, but at home you can use a regular double boiler. Once the rice is steamed to the proper state, you uh, spread it out on something so that it can cool back to room temperature. The rice needs to cool down to appropriate temperature so you can incorporate it with the other ingredients. While waiting for our rice to cool, we had a little bit of class time. Some slides on the overhead take us through the rice prep stages and the importance of the three prime ingredients. The online course contains the information that we received on the in-class slides. After class time, we weigh out the ingredients according to the recipe. Nuruk is a traditional Korean fermentation starter. It contains the enzymes that convert the starches to sugars, the yeast that ferment the sugars to alcohol, and bacteria that create the lactic acid that gives makgeolli its distinctive taste. Speaking of Nuruk, the next step is incorporation. Since we're making banana makgeolli, we are grinding up the bananas into the Nuruk. Once our banana or other flavor ingredient is mashed into an oatmeal-like consistency, we add the room temperature rice and water. The added rice and water need to be cool enough or below 100 degrees Fahrenheit to avoid harming the enzymes and yeast in the Nuruk, but warm enough to create fermentation conditions. And that is the basic overview on how to make makgeolli. Obviously, for more detailed information and recipes, we recommend taking the class from the Sewell Company or other local training classes if you can find one. So once we had everything thoroughly incorporated, all that was left was to fill it into buckets and take it home. After, of course, some traditional Korean snacks and freshly filtered makgeolli. Just a taste, you know, for science. All right, so we finished our class. We're back at the uh, train station and we're going home with some probably very angry dogs. We will see y'all in about a week and see how this stuff comes out. And welcome back to our kitchen. With our makgeolli. It has been a week, actually. We've got our stuff here. Melissa has sanitized her hands and is now doing the... The nasty. The this remix. Feels really gross, by the way. I'm trying to keep Valentine's recommendation that you keep one hand clean. But apparently you have to mix this up really good at the bottom. Isn't that what he said? Yeah, make sure you get all the stuff off the... How do we feel I've done? Eh, you're probably all right. You're, we're going to move on to number two. Yeah. So it I don't smells banana-y. I don't know that we remembered to take pictures. I got a picture of it before I started mixing. It was in three layers. So you had your sediment down at the bottom and then you had your clear portion in the middle and then you had your cap of rice on top. So. I did not, however, get a picture of it before I moved it, which would have been a better picture, eh, unfortunately. Oh well. So it does smell banana-y. I can get that out of it. So if I remember correctly, our dude from the course was telling us that in, in the olden days, what they would have done was siphoned off that clear part and just sold that to like the nobles. And then the poor people take the leftover rice and stuff at the bottom and squeeze that and the alcohol they get out of that was what the, the common people would have drank. We're middle class, so we're just jamming it all together and going with that. All right, here we go. I think I did pretty good. Looks like you got all the stuff off the bottom. All right, okay, that's one. Okay. So. Yeah, it's gonna wind up being a relatively small. Yeah, we don't need the press for this. Yeah. So if this had been a bigger batch, like we're thinking about doing later on, we would most definitely use the press over there rather than try and manhandle the, uh, the juice out of this rice. But this is a pretty small, this ends up being a pretty small bit of rice that you have to squeeze comparatively, so. Melissa's determined to get every drop out of it. Hey, we worked hard for this. 
Did you want to leave any in there? <laughs> now, do we filter this? Um, you can. I think that's more of a, uh, a choice than anything, because you can buy it filtered or unfiltered. So are we a filter people or no filter people? Because I brought bottles out, they're ready. Yeah, we can run it through a filter. All right, well, you're gonna go get our filter then? All right, so, took us a minute. Tried to filter a little bit of this, to try a we filtered versus unfiltered, but... It seemed like it would take 10 years to get it filtered through, so we were like, yeah, I like this. I don't, I don't really, really care if it filters. Yeah, the amount of rice sediment it just immediately clogged up the coffee filter, so... We are gonna try a little bit of our unfiltered banana macaulay. And just to make macaulay, macaulay. macaulay. And macaulay. just to just to make Valentine from the Soul Company happy, Chuck, you have to taste it first because my face won't count because if it's not sweet enough, I'll go. <laughs> Which, if you're after sweet stuff, I don't know why you're drinking macaulay because it's kind of tart by nature. All right, let's see what this tastes like. It's not bad. You can taste the banana in it. Is it banana adjacent, like the pineapple when I taste it, <laughs> no. or is it actually banana? No, it's, there's actual banana in so this So this one. is not a La Croix Macaulay. This is a real one? Yeah. It does have some sweet to it, but it's still got a little bit of that uh, Macaulay carbonated back end. I'm okay back with end. the carbonated back end. It's, I just need a little bit of sweet to add to it. Basically, it's a banana rice beer. It's not overly sweet. It's just a little sweet, but it's enough to. It's enough that it offsets the the bitter, the the bitter of the carbonated uh, Nuric taste. Yes, I like it. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Well, I mean, <laughs> it is my first try, though. Hey, any beginner trial thing is never going to be your favorite. Well, as we learned, or as everyone else in the class learned, I like my alcohol a little bit sweeter. And that's okay, because I know I'm a difficult sell, and that's all right. Nobody has to make alcohol to my standards except for me. Now you just wish you had some chicken and other stuff to <laughs> enjoy with your makgeolli, don't you? So we're going we're gonna, to we're cap gonna it off. Cap these off, put them in the fridge, and cool them down. Like many things that you brew, beer or wine or whatever, that have yeast in them, it may still create CO2 and create pressure. So when you put it in the fridge... Just my own personal tip, remember to squeeze the bottle a little bit so that it gives it room for the gas to expand. Our fr friend bought us some bottles that had the seal rings on them. So that's got a little vacuum on it. If it does continue to produce CO2, it's got room to expand and hopefully not explode all over our fridge. God, I hope not. So we have a comparison we can make because we actually have a few refrigerated ones. So this is what we mean by separate. It may cold crash in the fridge, so you may see sediment go to the bottom and clear go to the top. That doesn't mean it's bad. That doesn't mean there's anything wrong. Just shake it up. And how do you shake it up? Here, use this one. Maybe I'll drink some of that. I mean, you just shake it. Oh, I didn't know if you had to turn it upside down and shake well, it. I mean, you can if you want to make sure you get everything off the bottom. But that's it. That's all you do. Mix her up. That is, but that's a whole different fermentation process. That's a whole different thing, Bob. And those are professionals. This is two rednecks trying to make curry and rice wine. Hey, we did pretty good. We didn't do bad. Might drink some of it with dinner. So, makole. 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 Curry and rice wine. We have made some. This is our first. We will probably make more. We have a makole starter kit, which has everything you need to make it. We have two bags of that, so we're going to try that at some point. Mm. But this is our first one of making it with r straight rice. Yes. Well, and bananas. And but. bananas. But makuli is the first step in making soju. So you can make this. I wouldn't recommend making a flavored one if you're going to make soju. But you can make rice makuli, and then you can take this and distill it, and then you get the hardcore stuff. So, but we're in Korea where soju is their... Soju is plentiful and it's kind of their jam. So other than probably an experiment to see if we can do it, probably not going to be something we do often. Yeah, we may make one run, but that'll be the only run. Whereas Makoli, I can see us making more than one run just to experience it and to learn the different intricacies of making it ourselves. So that's it for this video. We have made stuff. We hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, do the internet stuff. See the Bias Coffee link below if you want to buy us some more bottles. And uh, we'll see you all around.